What's good, YouTube? It's RJ. We are here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi Fi Battle in the Teal Mask DLC. Uh, we are here showcasing the power, hopefully, of Arbok. Uh, we're going to try to do some stuff with Arbok, some fun stuff. If you guys want a chance for a mon or team to be featured, let me know down in the comments below. This person wanted to see Arbok, so we're bringing Arbok <laughs> here. Um, but we see Arbok with Coil, Gunshot, Earthquake, and Trailblaze with Terra Ground to power up those earthquakes. Um, poison Ground coverage kind of hits everything pretty well trailblaze is also to boost our speed um of course like the one thing that's crazy that can wall this thing is probably like corviknight because we have no way of touching it that's fine because that leads us to our next teammate in infernape with u-turn close combat flare bricks and gunshot i didn't want to like bombard arbok and try to make like it do everything so we that's what teammates are for so we have infernape here with the choice band to deal with stuff like corviknight if we run into it and whatnot um stuff that's annoying for arbok like um, and to be able to just hit flare blitz if we want to close combat when we want to and u-turn and all that stuff to get arbok in and then next up we have Milotic, one of my favorites with the flame or marvel skull to get that defense boost with flip turn skull to recover and ice beam very happy to see Milotic be back it is a huge huge stable of my draft league teams if you guys have watched my draft leagues in gen 8 and now in gen 9 we're going to get milo for sure but Milo is here to be a wall, which is fantastic. Then we have Sinistra here with Nasty Pot, Macha Gacha, Shadow Ball, Stun Spore, with the Blender policy with Heat Proof as well. Um, this is like kind of like if I was showcasing Sinistra, this is the set that I would like want to do because it's just fun because you can miss the Stun Spore, get a Blender policy boost, get Nasty Plot, and then just go with Macha Gacha and Shadow Ball and just run through teams, which is pretty fun. But I'm bringing Sinistra here. Haven't seen the Macha Gacha animation, so I'm excited to see what that looks like. And then we have Nine Tails here with Aurora Veil, Freeze Dry, Encore, and Moon Blast with the Light Clay. Um, this is to help Arbok because Arbok is kind of frail. So in order to help it get going, uh, we have Veil here to kind of just negate its uh, frailness, which is kind of cool. It's kind of what you have to do with certain mons like this that you want to pop up um, just to be able to help that mon shine. So I feel like Veil helps it do that a lot. And then last but not least, we have Dragapult, Draco, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, and U-Turn with the Choice Specs with Infiltrator as well since a lot of teams are running rampant with the nine tail screens and whatnot. Um, so Dragon Ball is just nice for like a thing of speed control because our team's a little bit slow, but it's not too, too bad. So I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited to go ahead and use this team. But without further ado, let's get into the battle. And here we are with the battle. Here we are with the battle. We see a team full of thick mons. I kind of just want to lead off with Infernape here. We're going to try to have Arbok do the thing. Um, because it looks like between it's I said dual stab, but because we're terra ground, earthquake and gunshot ugh, gunk shot look crazy here. Um, granted, we just have to be wary of p potential sync. Actually, no, we don't have to be wary of synchronized because all we have to do is literally just boost up enough to where it doesn't even matter. We're just gonna knock out that Umbreon from full. We don't care. We're gonna we're gonna boost up with Arbok. That's what we want to do. We want Arbok to come in. If you guys want a chance to battle me. Make sure to go ahead and join the Discord down below um, so, that, so I don't have to do randoms and stuff when I ping for battles and whatnot. But we're going to go ahead and just opt to... Actually, we're going to hard gunk shot here. I'm just going to do it to it. We're going to go for it. We're going to land it because we're goaded. We're just going to bop this Clef. Goodbye, Clef. I love you, but goodbye. <laughs> so Clef is gone. Nice. Nice. Clef is gone. You'll love to see it. Clefable is up out the way. They brought the thickest team on sub Wi-Fi for no reason. For a 20 minute timer why don't be that don't be that guy just don't be that guy this guy comes in i'm gonna get out of here um i'm gonna proceed to go out into uh i kind of want to go into hard pult i'm gonna go hard pult just because why not uh they probably go for like psychic move or something of that nature but i'm just gonna you know play aggressive why not we're having fun we're just chilling we're just chilling nothing crazy we're gonna go pull here i'm gonna go for side shock we're gonna be able to eat that and i'm gonna fire off a nice little uh uh shadow ball maybe Shadow Ball could be nice. Uh, Umbreon could come in. Um, and if Umbreon comes in, I want to go into Ninetales. Um, but I'm gonna, gonna see what my opponent wants to do. Because I'm just going to scout for what kind of play style they're going to do. They, they will switch. Okay, cool. So just had to make note. Of course, I could go one for U-turn. But at the same time, sometimes you got to attack in front of you until your opponent proves that they will make that switch. Because um, you never know. Sometimes, I mean, we've seen, we've seen um, opponents make some, like, not so, like, you know, good things. Good, good plays by like staying in when they shouldn't at all. Like it's like, why? I could have just killed Jamon right there, but you just chose to stay in. So we're just gonna switch out here. We're gonna go into Nine Tails now. Um, we're gonna be able to get up Veil. Um, I think I, I'm pretty sure Umbreon got access to Toxic again. Um, so that's a little bit annoying, but 
Um, if, if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below because, you know, with all the some stuff got toxic, some stuff didn't, some stuff got knock off, some stuff didn't, blah, 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 blah. Let me know. Let me know because I want to know. Um, but we're going to. Yep. Never mind. Don't let me know. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> Confirmed. Toxic. Gross. Yay. Umbreon is awesome, bro. Umbreon is awesome. We're going to go ahead and get a veil up because um, why not? Um, I really want to get Arbuck in a position to do the dang thing. And I think we most definitely can. Um, I forgot, we also have Shedskin on Arbok. What was I worried about status for? We're gonna go ahead and get a veil up though. Just cuz. Just cuz. They're gonna protect, that's fine. They're gonna toxic stall, which is gross, but that's fine. That is a-okay. This thing could have foul play. Um, I hope it wouldn't do too much to my Arbok. Especially, I mean, cuz like our attack is boosting, but so is our defense, so I feel like it should be fine. Um, hopefully. Um, they might go into like something like Blissey here. I could definitely see that. Um, on the potential Moonblast. Um, but I'm just gonna go hard Arbok here. Because why not? Get the boy in. We're gonna switch out here. Veil is gonna stay up, which is super duper nice. Um, Scizor could come in and try to wall us, but it won't. I mean, unless it's SD. If it's SD, it might be a little bit problematic. Um, they're gonna withdraw here. I assume we see the Blissey. Sh not the Blissey, I mean the Chansey. Joy? That's gotta be Chansey. I mean, I used to name my Chansey's Joy as a kid because <laughs> of Nurse Joy. And this is, this is a Nurse Joy mine. I mean, home, she'd be all up in the Pokemon Center. We're gonna go for a Coil here. Um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're just gonna be able to set up on this Chansey. I think I've been calling it Blissey this whole time. But we're gonna set up. If they go for a Thunder Wave, that's not entirely bad. Uh, they're just gonna go for rocks. Ooh, easy money. Easy money. So we're gonna be able to set up here, which is fantastic for our Bach. You love to see the Mon start doing the things that you want it to do. So I don't care if they go for a T-Wave. We are Shedskin. They're gonna withdraw here, which is kind of dope. Um, maybe Scizor comes in if I had to guess. Um, I have no idea what this mine is. I assume it's Scizor though. It's Espeon. Oh, I'm gonna Terra. I'm 100% gonna Terra. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna. I think actually this might be their fastest Mon on their team. Um, I could just knock it out with Gunk Shot in all honesty. Um, cause I, so I might not even need to go for a Trailblaze. Yeah, I don't even need to go for a Trailblaze. This is their fastest Mon, so I'm just gonna go ahead Terra Ground here. Um, we won't miss with Gunk Shot, which is fire, because of Coil boosting our accuracy. That's, so that's fantastic. You, these are the freest Gunk Shots you'll ever hit. So we're just gonna fire off our Terra Ground here, just because we could fire off heavy hit and Earthquakes. You could also be Terra Dark if you wanted to for this specific scenario where you don't have to take a Psychic to the face. Um, but we will have to, but we do have screens up. Oh, they opt to screen themselves. Okay, big dog, I see you on your Wolf Wolf. Okay, 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 I see you, I see you, I see you. Um, we're still gonna hit this big old Gunk. Still not gonna take it out. We don't get the poison either. Um, do I wanna trailblaze? I don't think. I really don't need to though. That's the thing. I just don't need to. It's just not a need. So I'm just gonna go ahead. How many turns of veil do we have left up? We have three, so that's not entirely bad. I wish we could have took it out, but we're just gonna go for a nice little earthquake here. Um, they're gonna get up light screen. So they're screens too. They got the memo. They got the memo, but you know, it's nice for Aurora Veil because it covers both sides. So you don't have to worry about getting two things of screens up, wasting a turn to get the other turn. You know what I'm saying? So you get both up at the same time. Shout out to Ninetales for doing the thing. So Arbok is here, Arbok is now. Unfortunately, they do have a reflect up. Um, Yovi is going to be the skizzer. It is indeed the skizzer. Um, we're gonna see how much this does. Um, I assume it might not do that much because they, they do have reflect up. They're gonna opt to Terra too. Uh, what type of Terra though? Please just be pure steel and be a silly goose. But I doubt it. I don't know what they'd be. Uh, Terra Water. I doubt they have Terra Blast though. So we're just gonna actually that's fine for us because we can hit a Gunk Shot now and we could potentially get a Poison. So that's cool. So either way, Earthquake is still a neutral pit. Um, obviously I wasn't gonna click Gunk Shot there because I have no clue. I still does a decent amount. That's behind screens as well. There. Oh, they do have Terra Blast. Wow. <laughs> what is this Scissor, bro? I have not seen Terra Water Scissor. Um, that still does a chunk and that's 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 behind our reflect and we're plus two defense That is Arbok what you doing, bro? Arbok what you doing? What the snake doing? So we're gonna go ahead and get off a gunk shot here um, Be able to land it because it is 100% accurate and not gonna be able to take out. Do we snag the poison? We do not snag the poison unfortunately um, So this mon is gonna do quite a bit to us. That's so much damage And I think does our very well off here. That's gonna suck if it does. I think it does they're gonna be able to bullet punch us. Oof. Big oof. Big scissor. Big scissor. Doing the thing. Um, we're just gonna trailblaze here because not, but they're gonna bullet punch here for sure. Mad unfortunate. Mad unfortunate. But 
it did get to do a couple of things. <laughs> we got to do something. We got to do something. Arbok did something. It did something. So now we can freely go into uh, not. I mean, we could go Pult. We don't have Mach Punch. Otherwise, uh, I think we just go into Milo here because why not? Actually, probably shouldn't have. I wanted. Actually, probably should not have done this because now they can. Oh, they, no, they don't get Roost. I'm silly. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can go for a Scald here. Um, yeah, because why not? Because why not? Bullet Punch isn't going to do anything. Terror Blast isn't going to be able to do anything to us. So, as a crit, too, does it doesn't even matter. Just going to be able to burn this thing. Not burn this thing, but kill this thing. Even better. No burns. No burns. So, Scissor is gone. It ruined our fun, though. Actually, the Reflect kind of ruined our fun. That was actually tragic. That was actually tragic. Otherwise, we just bodied that Scissor. Otherwise, we 100% bodied that Scissor without a doubt. Of course, they had to have dual screens. What a... What a loser, man. What a loser. You're, you're bad, says the guy who has screens up as well. But still, Joy comes out. Um, This Mon is fine. We're going to go ahead and flip turn here just because get a little bit of chip on it. Not that it's going to be anything like crazy. Um, What do we want to do? Um, Because Infernape is indeed our only way of beating this thing. Like, it quite literally is our only way of beating this thing. Um, I don't want to go hard in for Nape. But, hmm. Actually, let's just go into Ninetales, actually. Uh, we're going to take Rock Strip because they did get up Rocks before. Um, so, we'll take Rocks. We'll see what they go for here. I can just Encore them into whatever. So, that's why I went Ninetales. Um, that way we can uh, size my toss. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go ahead. I uh, get Poison and everything. Maybe... Do we, is it even worth do i need screens up i feel like i don't um we most definitely do not i'm just gonna go ahead and get an encore this thing uh so we'll die here which is fine um but i just want to be able to trap this thing into a move um because why not i mean might as well i was thinking about going pulp but then i remember we are special pulp so it wouldn't be the best of plays to do sinasha could come in here and uh set up as well but we just go in for napier why not really it didn't really matter what uh nine tails did there because we're if we go for moon blast freeze right it literally does zero to this thing um so we just have to fire off a nice little i think flare blitz is fine because i feel like they go slow bro i feel like they would go slow bro so i'm just gonna flare blitz here i don't think they stay in yeah okay cool and i don't think they go umbreon that'd be crazy i think they go slow bro that's like their only option here i feel like that's slow bro yeah, okay, nice. So we're going to be able to fire off a nice little Flare Bliss here. Should be able to two-shot. Yeah, nice. Nice. Big dog. Big ape. Big monk. Doing the thing. So, um, yeah, because ape is very, very much, like, it's just, like, matchup-wise, like, I, we lost Arbok, and Infernape is literally the only mon here that can break through the Spadef mons that are, like, going crazy. So we're going to have to switch out here, um, no matter what comes in, because... And then we just have to like get a free switch in to close combat. That's what we have to do. That is what we have to because we should take out the Umbreon, no problem. And then we should take out the Joy, no problem as well. So that should be fine. That should be fine. All right, so we're going to get up out of here. We're going to go into Sinistra. Um, just because that way we can just, you know, die. I mean, I should have went pull if I really wanted to die. Uh, but we're just going to go into this thing, sack it off. As my camera goes out, whoop. But that's fine. That's fine. I like guess it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, Sinistra, sorry. I'm gonna go for Toxic. It's just gonna be Stall Shenanigans, which is fine. I'm just gonna go for a Nasty Plot here, just in case they go for a Protect. Um, so that way we can at least do some damage to this thing. Because if I just Raw try, it's not gonna do much of anything. Um, so we're just gonna go for a nice little a uh, Nasty Plot, just because. Because uh, I was just gonna sack this thing off. They opt to withdraw, actually. Um, so that's fine. I'm just gonna wait it out. Let's just wait it out because we, we then we can just bring in infinite for free literally for free um and then proceed to fire off a bunch of cc's because they already burnt their terror so i don't have to worry about them like changing types or anything or being like terror ghost chancy so that's perfectly fine um like i said we just go for um i mean we can matcha gotcha um i can also just go for a knockoff again i mean nasty plot <laughs> not knockoff i don't know what this chance is gonna do kind of I'm kind of interested that they even opted to switch out, in all honesty. Because they could have just... I guess they don't have a Dark-type move. They, we, all we've seen is Toxic and Protect. So I even toss, I'm a Ghost-type, though. Um, so maybe we're just at a standstill because they can't do anything to me. 
And I can't really do anything to Chansey in all honesty because Chansey is Chansey. Um, I'm just going to go for Macha Gacha. See the animation so we can see it. Look at the... <laughs> it just spins in a cup. Oh, this is so funny. It kind of did a chunk. Yo, that's so that's so funny. That is hilarious. That is a goober move. So, I mean, we're going to be able to whittle this thing down. So actually, Sinistra might be able to do something. <laughs> Oddly enough, Sinistra might be able to do something because the recovery might be able... I mean, granted, they're going to opt to uh, recover at some point, soft boiled at some point, but... It's fine. Yo, I love this animation. That's just so funny. That's so funny. Homie's grinding himself up in the cup. Homie is grinding himself up in the cup. Uh, what do we see here? We do see a soft board. So they're just going to toxic stall me, which I mean, it's a little trash. It's a little garbage. It's a little, it's a little toxic if I do say so myself, but uh, it's fine. Um, I could just go for another nasty plot just to do maximal amount of damage because we are plus four. So we might as well get a plus six and they can't touch us as we've seen, but uh actually they don't withdraw oh perfect fine we get a free nasty plot free nasty plot and a little bit of more health so actually they're gonna opt to protect in my face is what they're gonna do so that we probably do die here honestly um how do i went for matcha gacha right there i mean i can't believe they went hard umbreon because homies i mean homies but but he wouldn't want to take a matcha gacha um yeah we definitely die that did like 60 points i'm gonna pr uh predict the protect i'm gonna 100 predict the protect or maybe it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. I feel like, I mean, they're going to go for protect. Watch. Yeah, they go for protect. I'm not going to, there's no need. Like, because we died this turn, I didn't have to, uh, just an uh, unnecessary risk. Even though you could make that read, it's unnecessary because then, like, they could potentially do something else um, instead of protecting. Um, so, just to, like, we're going to die here anyways. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because I would just go eight and we click close combat every time. Every time. Because we should just body bag this thing. Um, they can't go for, they can't, I mean, they can go for protect again, but they can't, you know what I mean? Cause I mean the, the risk, but we're going to go for close combat here. This thing cannot touch us. Um, cause we should just be able to body bag it. We should just be able to body bag it. I mean, it's a choice banded close combat from an ape. Ain't no way. And a close combat here, boom, bada bang, should just drop, does just drop. Perfect. And then Chansey will come in, has a little, a smidge of chip on it, which is nice to shout out to the Sinistra. And then Infinite was going to be able to clutch it up. Infinite's going to be able to clutch it up. Perfectly fine. Sorry you guys had to sit through that toxic shenanigans, but I mean, I just, I didn't want any more chip on Infernape, especially after all the Flare Blitz chip we took. It was going to come out. It is their last Mon, um, and we should just be able to bop this thing. We should. <laughs> if we don't, I'm going to cry, because we literally lose to this Vaughn with Pole and Milo in the back. So we're going to close combat here. It should just, thank you. All right, cool. Shout out Ape. Ape did the thing. Arbok did do some stuff. It, it whittled down the, the scissor behind screens, and... It did indeed kill an Espeon. So, I'm not too upset. It's Arbok as well. Arbok is a little bit... You got it. That's why I kind of run screens with uh, Mons that are like frail like that. Because uh, between Coil and the screens, it felt like it was pretty good. And then Trailblaze and then Earthquake and Gunk. Perfect coverage, I feel. Um, of course, like if you're going against like a Corviknight, uh, there's not really much else you, you can do. But you do have Infernape on the team. Uh, you have stuff like Dragapult on the team as well to help out with that. Also, Milo too. So, that's pretty good. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new, make sure to... Go ahead and click that notification bell and subscribe as well. I think I think do all three. <laughs> but uh, without further ado, I am Boy J. I'm gonna get about you here, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.